Real estate trick number one, the red herring. Be careful if you get one of those because you could make some money. The red herring is when a landlord in a rental building wants to convert to condo or condominiums or co-ops to sell off the units. So they distribute this booklet, which is the first offering, so that all the tenants in the building know what's going on and can either agree or disagree to sell. Now, I went through this process in New York City and my, my broker at the time told me that I better watch out because landlords were pretty mean and they tried to get tenants out of there because the more tenants they got out of the building, the more units they could sell without the in-house price going to the tenant. So what we did in my building of over 400 people was we kind of organized a, a group to safe keep the process so the SEC could finalize and double check on security, prices, square footages, and all the right laws to cover and govern this prospectus. Turns out after weeks of, of the landlord trying to literally get us out of there by turning off the electricity and, and shutting off the water and not collecting the trash, we all decided that, that enough was enough and we were gonna stay no matter what. And that was good for me because it turns out when we got the black book, which the red herring turns into after SEC approves, I had a floor plan in the book of my unit with a price, in-house price, which was very, very good and low. As an in-house tenant, I could buy that property less than half its value. So of course I did that right away. And then I took the floor plan from the red herring or the black book and distributed a copy to all the tenants in the building, over 400 of them, with the current price I wanted, which I had tripled because the market was so strong. And you gotta know what the market is. Make some money in real estate. Turns out right away I got two offers. One from a couple from Westchester who wanted me to trade their their house for my condo and I don't want to do that because I didn't want to live in the suburbs anymore. And number two was a young man who offered me my full asking price, my favorite. And so, as you know, I'm lucky and in the right place at the right time. I got to sell that unit, close that unit, and go to the Upper West Side and buy another one on the same day. Same attorney, close one deal, buy the other. It was beautiful. It was a miracle. And it was, yet, one of those benefits that happen if you're in the right place at the right time, and if you get a red herring, you can hang in. Mindset, and meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have a better day. Stay tuned. Next week. Thank you. Every day, late at night.